Hi everyone, Gareth again, product specialist at Clever Touch. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how you can do remote learning, distant lessons live using your Clever Touch screen. And for this first section, it's primarily all about using Zoom. So the first thing you need to do is to get Zoom installed onto the board. And if you haven't got a screen that comes with Zoom already on it, I'll show you now how you can do it. So first of all, go into the main menu. I'm heading for the apps and the Chrome browser. So now that I'm on the Chrome browser, I need to go to the uh, Zoom website. And what I really want is an APK file that I can download to the board. So now I'm going to the zoom.us website. And here you can see at the top Zoom client for meetings, and I'm going to download directly from Zoom. So down here asks me, do I want to download it? And I do. Okay, now to find it, I'm just gonna go home and from the main menu, go to the files area. So in the files area, there's a download section. Where that lives is just within the storage area of the board. Here it is, downloads. And you can see the Zoom APK file. Double click on it, it will now install it for me. And it begins the process. When it's done, the Zoom app will then appear in the app section, as I'll show you in a moment. Okay, so now that I've got the Zoom APK file downloaded onto the board, I can join a meeting. So I've started a meeting on my laptop and I'm now going to input the details so that I can join the meeting directly from my board. So to do that, I'm going to go to the app section from the main menu and I'm going to access the Zoom app. Now, when it first comes on, you can actually sign to a Zoom account that you've got. I'm just going to join a meeting for now though. So for those of you that know Zoom well, you will always have a meeting ID that I, that I need to put in. And the next step is to put in the passcode. So the meeting host, myself, now needs to let me in. So I will. I'm now going to put down my laptop because I don't need the details of that anymore. But what I also do is I make sure that I set the camera up so that I can show the video of me standing at the screen as well as, on, as what's on the screen. You've also got the option of choosing the audio that you'd like to use. What I always do is I turn off audio on my laptop and if I've got an Impact Plus with its built-in microphone, I turn on the audio directly on the screen. That's all you need. It will pick up your voice brilliantly as you're teaching directly from the screen then. So um, if I want to share my screen, I need to make sure I've allowed permission on my laptop and then I can um, make sure that I uh, do that from the uh, Zoom app. So here, if I go to share and share screen and start now, what's great is that it will turn off that annoying sort of cascade effect of uh, thousands of me. I know my wife would be over the moon, but now it jumps straight to the main menu screen. And as you can see, um, I've got, I'm being able to share this screen out and um, I've got the video of me as well. So what I do is I pin the, the live action video of me um, and have them side by side so that the people watching on their other devices can see us both, you know, the, the real me and the screen actions that I'm taking um, directly uh, here at the same time. So I'd now be able to open up a presentation that I wanted to go through directly on the screen that way. So live lessons going straight out to students with audio provided from the screen.